Hi, it's Michelle from Movement Lesson, and in this video I want to show you how I started working with uh, sort of a pre-stand. Now, I don't use uh, inflatable objects, I would say too often, but when I do, it's very purposeful. I believe in the principles of nature's laws of gravity and all that, but mostly uh, counterbalance and counteraction. What happens with uh, forms of cerebral palsy is that it's more of a counter opposition. So when you're working with inflatables, the one thing I do like is that no matter what you do, the, the air in, in them, and I like to have them, by the way, um, on a low level of, um, they're not inflated to the max is what I'm trying to say, they're a little deflated. But when I press down, let's say on my left, do you see how the, the automatically counteracts? So if I'm sort of like pawing like a little cat here, you'll see that automatic counter. Where I don't like to use an uneven surface, especially with, with forms of cerebral palsy, is as you notice, the floor I'm standing on is solid. Uh, we do not walk around on floors that move. You'll see that in skiing and surfing. And by the way, people that do that too much, it affects their neurological functioning. You know, they're more, they, it's hard for them to work. They just, they want that intake of an uneven surface. And that's not how we formulate our movements. However, when I'm looking to restore in the system the act of counterbalance and counteracting versus counteropposing, then I use this. So you're going to see here right now with this little cutie that I'm working on how I'm still rotating her pelvis, but notice how she, at first she's a little bit startled and I'm, I'm just keeping her vestibular quite content and safe and then she starts uh, counteracting and then actually trying to take some steps on it. So just to show you some clips on that, how to uh, work on that. <laughs> wow, that was a nice step. Oh my and that's goodness. how they figure out how to start. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Does that feel good on your toes? Here's the ball. Get it. Get the ball. Get it. Get it. Get the ball. look where you're going. Mm -hmm. Bring the ball down to her so she can show. That's nice. Oh. <laughs> you got it. Um. Oh, from there? Yeah, she. Now try and make it in the basket. Oh. <laughs> Just so you know, a quick note, counteracting versus counterposing. As you're an adult, I can counteroppose. I counteroppose, I bring this knee up, let's say, and do that. That's a counteroppose. A counteracting is if I'm, I'm working, if I'm responding to stimuli, my system counteracts or counterbalances. So those are the two principles. Everyone should be able to grow into counter-opposing, but you shouldn't see counter-opposing in a system that's sort of like basically under two. Now, yes, that I get it, you're going to say, oh my, whatever climbs on the couch. That's after they've already done serious counteracting and they've gone into that. But a baby, that counter-opposes, and that's why you're here looking at the video on how to work with cerebral palsy. If you find this information helpful and if you need, subscribe down below. Um, I'll be following up with a lot more um, how-to videos going forward into the new year. I look forward to hearing from you. Any comments, leave below. I'm always responding. Thanks.